welcome medicos today is the day we have to show our gratitude towards our teacher because whatever we are today is because of them because of our parents our teachers so happy teachers day to all my teachers teaching is the art of changing lives and being a medico we are going to be the lifelong learner so we will be always under the guidance of a teacher so we are blessed thank you to all my teachers so these are the few questions which can appear as an mcq so if you know the answer please write it in the comment section otherwise after this session we will be able to answer each of these viral hepatitis is our topic of discussion today this is the introduction part we will try to complete this topic in this particular table only so this is the name of the virus this is the genetic material the family which they belong to the mode of transmission of this virus the clinical manifestation and whether they are enveloped or not so beginning with hepatitis a virus it's a rna virus belongs to family picornia viridae see here it's written rna so hepatitis a virus belongs to picornia viridae family mode of transmission is fecal oral route fecal oral route means it's transmitted by contaminated food and water when food and water are contaminated by feces in that particular time hepatitis a virus can transmit then uh, the manifestation the clinical manifestation is acute hepatitis acute inflammation of the liver and it is a non enveloped virus hepatitis b virus is a dna virus belonging to hepatina viridae family dna the mode of transmission of hepatitis b it can be parenteral or through sexual route or congenital what does parenteral mean parenteral mean that through the uses of iv needles for example in iv drug users they use the same needle multiple uh, person use the same needle and if any one of them is infected with hbv everyone is at high risk also through sexual contact mostly in high risk uh, groups then congenital transmission is also possible that means from infected mother to fetus one very important thing about hbv is through needle stick injuries more than hiv person who get the needle stick injury is more prone to hbv hepatitis b and who are at risk all the healthcare workers staff nurses and most of the times it occurs the needle stick injury occurs during recapping of the needle or handling sharps so we should be very careful we should avoid recapping the needles and uh, it's also advised that all the medical professionals and uh, staff nurses and everyone in the hospital working should be vaccinated with hbv vaccine clinical manifestation are acute hepatitis which can on uh, later stages become chronic hepatitis and also may develop hepatocellular carcinoma hepatitis b virus is a enveloped virus whereas hav was non enveloped coming to hepatitis c virus it is also a rna virus belonging to flaviviridae family mode of transmission same as hbv parenteral sexual and congenital clinical manifestation also same as hbv acute hepatitis chronic hepatitis and hepatocellular carcinoma malignant that is a malignant condition it is enveloped virus hepatitis d virus is also rna virus belonging to family delta viridae dd you can remember it like that parenteral sexual and congenital mode of transmission acute hepatitis chronic hepatitis and hepatocellular carcinoma as clinical manifestation it is also a enveloped virus now coming to the last of our discussion hepatitis e virus it is a 
RNA virus belonging to Calciviridae family. Mode of transmission is fecal oral route, contaminated food and water. Clinical manifestation is acute hepatitis, acute inflammation of the liver, and it is a non enveloped virus. Now, these questions which I put in the beginning of the topic, let's see do we know? Only cultivable hepatitis virus is hepatitis A virus. This I have not mentioned in the slide. Which hepatitis virus has DNA as genetic material? We know it is hepatitis B. And hepatitis B don't have double stranded DNA. Not it is not complete. It has incomplete double stranded DNA. And which hepatitis virus is non-enveloped? So it is hepatitis A and hepatitis E. Which hepatitis virus is transmitted by fecal oral route? Again, the answer is hepatitis A and hepatitis E. We'll get back to you soon. A teacher's impact lasts a lifetime. Don't forget to thank your teacher today. Gratitude is the most important thing. If you are grateful, you will reach the heights of success which you can't even imagine. Thank you.